Hi, Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Today, we are going to take a deep dive into one of the most fascinating minerals, which is magnesium, that is involved in over 700 different reactions in the body. So we're going to talk about the different forms of magnesium, why we are deficient in magnesium, and of course, why it's so important for you. So it is absolutely amazing to think that it is involved in over 700 reactions in the body. So we're going to jump right into the different forms of magnesium because this allows you to appreciate how different forms of magnesium are associated with different benefits in the body. Magnesium is available in different forms and it each has its own unique characteristics. The most common forms of magnesium are oxide, citrate, trionate, and glyconate. These forms are going to differ in absorption rate, bioavailability, as well as their specific role in the body. So for example, if you are having bowel irregularities and you tend towards constipation, magnesium citrate is very valuable in bowel regularity. So oftentimes I will suggest to my patients who are experiencing constipation to titrate up in terms of magnesium citrate every three days. So they might start at 150 milligrams and then every three days they would increase that to assist with bowel function. So this can be a really, really great use for this, where if we look at magnesium magnesium oxide, this can also influence bowels, not as well as the citrate would. This can also be used as an antacid. Now we have magnesium glyconate. This can be a great use for sleep. This can be great for overall nervous system function. So this is really helpful for a lot of us. And then we have magnesium trionate. And this can be very helpful and promising as it can cross the blood-brain barrier. So this can have an impact on brain function, cognitive health, and so on. Now let's talk about magnesium deficiencies. One of the key reasons for this is the deficiency in our soil because of modernized farming practices. This has over time, over decades, decreased the amount of magnesium that we are getting through the soil, i.e. then through our foods. In addition to this, stress is a really big factor in magnesium excretion. So when we have an increase in our stress hormones, such as cortisol, we can have increased magnesium or electrolyte excretion through our urine. And so whether that is physical stress or that is emotional stress, both of which can contribute to deficiencies of our electrolytes. And so this is where we want to be thinking that if, for example, we are under more stress and we're thinking of the role magnesium has in so many aspects of our health, this is where we may need to supplement. We may need to really focus in on foods and making sure that we're getting things in that are going to support our overall health. As I mentioned many times already, it has a profound effect on our health. So why is magnesium so important? One of the main reasons is that it supports energy metabolism. It plays a huge role in converting food to energy. It promotes muscle relaxation. It alleviates cramps. It's crucial for maintaining a normal heart rhythm. It contributes to normal blood pressure and blood vessel function. It's important for bowel regularity. And it's also important for bone health and healthy glucose metabolism. It's even important for immune health. So from energy production to heart health, magnesium plays such a critical role in everything that we do. So we want to factor in how can we get this through our diet and then also how can we potentially supplement. So some of the higher sources of magnesium could be nuts and seeds, can be spinach, can be oats, barley. All of these have a pretty significant role in magnesium. With that said, you still may need to supplement. And so although I named a few of the primary forms of magnesium, we want to recognize there's at least seven different forms of magnesium. And so when we are looking at supplementation, we can be very specific as it relates to what specific goal you're looking for and outcome you're looking for based on magnesium. But you can also look at sources that have all the forms of magnesium. So I will put a link in the comments below to make sure that you have that as well. But it's important to make sure that you you are checking with a healthcare professional before you supplement, making sure that it's appropriate for you based on any of your health history. And in the meantime, you can start with just incorporating food sources. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you can appreciate the profound effect that magnesium has on your body and your health. And if this was helpful, give it a like, give it a share. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.